Stephanie. Welcome to Stephanie's Journey. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Today I have a quick short video for you showing you how to make oat flour. If you've never made any type of flour before, it's very, very simple and it's much cheaper than buying it in the store. And I use oat flour for certain things when I want to make stuff gluten free. So if you're gluten free and you'd like to see how to make your own oat flour, then stick around and stay tuned. I have my Vitamix here. And all I do is, I already have some flour. I bought, just bought that because I was running low. And I keep my flour in my mason jars. But all I do is pour, and this is about a cup, I suppose. Let's see. Come on. I was right, it's a cup. So I have a cup of oats in here. I do is just put the top on and just grind it up and this should make me enough that I need for the recipe. And I take it off. It works a lot better in your Nutribullet because it's so much smaller and it has that blade. Well, I guess this works well too, but I'm so used to doing it in my Nutribullet. All right. Okay, let's let you guys see what it looks like on the inside. And pretty much, that is how you make oat flour. And if you still have some chunks or something in there, you just put it back on there and do it again. I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna use it to make cookies so it don't have to be 100%. Vitamix to the side. Tap that down. And that's it. I'm gonna get my Nutribullet container and pour it in there. And you guys can see. What it looks like as I make my mix. The consistency. It's fine. You still have just a little teeny bit of chunk, so I could have ran it a little bit longer, but what I'm gonna use it for is just fine. Okay guys, that is it on how you make oatmeal flour. It's very simple and easy. It takes two, three minutes, just depends, depends upon how fine you want it and how much you wanna do. I just did one cup, which makes, once it's grounded up, probably makes about I don't know, a cup and a half maybe. But anyway. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any comments below if you'd like to see me make any other type of flour. I do chickpea flour sometimes. And I think that's it. I do do mushroom powder and I do onion powder as well. I make that myself out of dried onions. So it's much cheaper than, you know, what you buy, but you just buy it the organic stuff and then you just grind it in your food processor so yeah thank you guys for stopping by my channel i hope you guys are staying safe and i look forward to seeing you all in my very next video <laughs> bye bye